All right, let's go ahead and look at range markets. We all know how to trade trend, but how do you trade range? Trend, we got several videos on how to trade trend. How do you trade range when the market is in a flat or range market? What you want to do, there's two, I'll get a little arrow to point for you so you understand where I'm at. The market can only do two things every day. It doesn't matter what markets you trade, all future stocks, Forex, currency, ETFs, options, doesn't matter. All right, you can only do two things. It can be range or chop. The best way to do it is this. If you're in a range market, what they like to do is market profile has done this for now 33 years. It likes to sell the high. They like to sell the high. If you're in range, sell the high of market profile and buy the low of market profile. So our methodology is to stay away from the middle and only trade the outer edges. We only want to buy or sell the outer edge of profile. Until we break out. Let me show you how we do it. So you can see we want to stay away. We're on the outer edge again. You want to stay away from the middle and just trade the outer edge of profile. So you don't want to take any trades in here on any given market. No trades in here. You want to buy and sell the outer edge. Now, how do you know where to sell or buy the outer edge? There's only two profiles that are the most important in my room. I got the thick red line, which is high value area. It's more of an institutional high value area. And I got a thick green line. I got a thin green line. That's low value area also developing and a thin red line. This thin red line is the only line we use to even think about counter trend trading the market if we're in a trend down or up. It stopped the market in its tracks yesterday on crude for that big giant move up because it got back inside of it, retested it. The dots are price profile. I don't use those as much because they're more, they're less reliable, but they're great for what's called a stack level if they're on top of these two also. So all you have to do in a range market, if the moving average is flat as a pancake going sideways, we're going to sell the high when we get up in between the developing and the volume profile red. We're going to buy the low if we get in between the developing and the low value green. We'll use market delta to fire us in the trade. Stop loss will be two ticks below or above the swing high. You do not take any arrows at all, Fibonacci arrows, on our 5 and 3 sim like we do in trend when you are in a range market. What you do not trade is you do not trade the blue control point. We do not trade the most volume that's traded. We never trade that at all. You do not want to trade the most volume that's traded. Never do that. Oops. So what we want to trade, we want to avoid the middle. Avoid the middle, buy the outer edges, sell the outer edges until we break out. Once we break out, the market's going to do this. You'll see a clean break above price. We'll look for the first retracement. And we'll try to get an ABC long like that, or it breaks below price, low value, gets away, we look for an ABC short. Very easy to recognize what to do in CHOP. CHOP markets can be very profitable when you know what you're doing, because you're buying the low, you're selling the high, you're avoiding the middle. The middle is where you're going to get stopped out. Now, here's the thing about it. Look at my symmetry dots. My sim dots are in a range also, you can tell. So if we look over here at market profile, we're in a real tight range, right? They've been selling the high, buying the low. Sim dots, sold the high, 
right? Almost an exact tick, came within one tick of the low down here also. So we're going to know when the market gets back into trend, if what? If we exceed my high value or low value area, price gets away, and we exceed my SIM dots. So those two charts you really want to pay attention to when you are range. When we're in a range market, they like to sell the high by the low. They have done it for 33 years in all markets. If you go back on this institutional market profile I use, that's why everybody loves it. It can literally call the highs and lows in range on any given day, on any given market. And it will go back and forth, back and forth until we break out. The rule of thumb I like to use is sell the high, buy the low, avoid the middle in a flat market like we are now on the first and second test. On the third test, you want to do what? You want to wait for a breakout. We've second test up here at the high again. High value now rejected price at 50. Rejected price here on the symmetry dots. Now it's tested twice at that level. Tested several times at the low. You cannot buy the low anymore at all. My rule of thumb, if it tests more than twice at low value area, then we should break the next time it breaks. It goes through it. Same at the high. You're looking for a breakout on either side of profile for a trade setup coming up. So in other words, in range, I just look at these two charts. Profile and SIM dots. It's going to tell me when we break out. I don't have to guess at it. I don't have to wonder when it's breaking out. You're going to see it. You're going to see a breakout of profile. Profile got rejected again. If I got rejected down here. So until we break through there and look, they're at the same level, the SIM dots and the profile levels, red and green, outside edges. That's how we trade range or chop. Now on trend, we typically trend three days out of the week. Of all those videos, you see all those arrows firing off, break retest trades on symmetry dots. Easy going, right? On trend, trend days, it's easy. We just take the arrow retracements after SIM dots, break, retest with 9 SIM trend. But CHOP's a little bit different because CHOP, you want to sell the high by the low until we break out. Then we get back into trend again. Okay? So you can see how important this is to recognize CHOP versus trend. Trend, you usually don't even, or CHOP, you usually don't even break symmetry. You just stay in between it. So that's your profit opportunity if you want it. If you want to sell the low, buy the high on the first and second test of profile with market delta down here to confirm, then you can do that. But you can't take any arrows and chop or you will get taken to the woodshed. And that's worked for 33 years. Now, once we break out, we'll look for a retracement. We'll go back to work. Okay? So you can see what they're doing right now, negative market delta. That's called the high here on profile and sim dots again. So if you did take the trade, make sure you scale in the first push. See me go coast to coast all the way back down to low value area again. Make sure you scale in the first push though. You're not expecting a lot in chop though. You're expecting to go from the high value to low value. value. First target just got hit if you took that trade. Just got hit. Your fill should have been 44 live. So if you did get hit, you should be hitting, getting um, your target one out at this level. All right. So the next trade we're going to look for is very simple. Break out of high value or break out of low value. Look at the SIM dots. Very clear what's going on here. It's a range market. 